Secondly, Roberta said how great it was for Malta, and it's, it's obvious, to enter the EU. Now, I'm telling you, the process has completely changed, totally changed. Mm -hmm. Has become the most incredibly neurotic and un unfair thing, which is good for us. It's a, it's a very good, you know, gym of nerves. <laughs> and it's a great know-how transfer. Because without the EU, the Balkan countries would not have a future because the EU is the only source of knowledge to how, how to build institutions, democratic states, and so on. But if they would reserve the same treatment to the EU members itself, I'm telling you, I'm not saying Malta, but I'm saying more than half of the EU countries would not be able to enter EU anymore. That's true. Yeah. Impossible. And I'm not talking about the former communists. I'm talking also about founders. Believe me. But, Roberta, sorry. I have to say it. Say it, sir. I'm waiting. When this corruption case huh? got out, I said, karma is a bitch. <laughs> That's the headline tomorrow. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs>